Hello everyone, I'm Duke James, this is Fez. So I did the automatic investment a couple, probably like 10 years ago, it hasn't actually done anything yet. Um, I added these, I went ahead and I re-added these selected provinces into the automatic investment, and then if you go, you can go to advanced options and show currently selected provinces for investment, and then activate the trade map mode. All the ones with these blue blocks should be they should have all investments. So it should work now. But then I clear selected provinces. Let's see if this still shows up. Alright, yeah, so I'm not sure why... I'm not sure why it hasn't done anything yet. It's supposed to do it every three years. The more money I get in my treasury, the more it's gonna hurt the first time I do investment. But, uh... I'm gonna go ahead and attack with these guys. We're gonna be outnumbered, but we are fighting in, uh, wooded mountains, so... And we have a tech advantage. I think we have a leader advantage. A 2-2 two -two and a 0-1. Here we go. Let's have these guys reinforce. Alright, we lost 2,200 men. They lost 10,000 men. Almost 10,000 men. Would any of them leave? No. Okay, so I'm going to try to... If I can get to... No? Okay, I can't get to uh, Tunis. I'm going to take those stacks off. Bring these guys to Constantine. Looks like the Ottomans would actually uh, ally us if I got out of this war. Yeah, Tunis will not leave. I'm going to fight these guys again. Stack wipe them. Might just be easier for me to uh, just take Tlemcen, but they're not giving that to me either. Uh, this is the war goal. So if I take that, that should actually give me... Yeah, because negative 8.5 is because I don't control the war goal. So if I actually take that war goal... Alright, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go take that war goal. I think the better play is instead of trying to get Tunis out, I can just take the war goal and I probably just grab Tlemcen. Which should severely weaken Tlemcen. And then I think I, I could probably have them break their alliance with Tunis as well. So just take Tlemcen and have them break the alliance. They can probably they probably ally someone down here. Hopefully it's not the Ottomans. I doubt it would be them, though. Tunis can uh, try to take my province. That's fine. I should be able to take this relatively quickly with the two siege general. It's a level one for it.
Let's have the um, stacks with the least drill. Do that. There's actually a lot of troops over here. And we stack wipe them. Okay. There we go. Automatic investment. Perfect. So, we've invested two ducats into Marrakesh. I think it's mostly... Okay, 26 ducats in Safi in Agriculture. Five ducats in Academic. Some Academic. 21 ducats in Mogador in uh, Extraction. Some more Academic. It's a lot of Academic in every province. Okay, so there's, uh, the main thing was, uh, mine investment and farmland investment. I'm gonna split this stack. There's a lot of tiny stacks running around. England announced me their rival. Okay. They have Portugal and a personal union, so... All right, they would accept that? Would they give me this? They would. All right, this, this. Okay, they would give me this province, but I think if I can get them to break their alliance, that would be better. All right. So I could get Tlemcen, this province, which borders Fez, which will help get to uh, Fez. The runners get to Tlemcen. They annul their treaty with Tunis. They give me no money, so it's like literally just right there. All right. 43 aggressive expansion. It's gonna cost 314 admin to core these two provinces. That is a huge addition to our country. I'm going to switch to uh, focusing admin power because we are ahead of, we're doing fine on uh, mill tech, but I'm probably going to start going behind on uh, admin tech. I'm going to wait till I get commercialization to actually do those techs. I'm going to try to unless it takes to, uh, forever. But, uh, we have 490 admin power, so it's not a whole lot. And our air is a zero admin skill, which it should balance out a little bit. So we're not going to have zero, but uh, it's not ideal. We have 793 ducats. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and ally the Ottomans. So I've allied the Ottomans, which feels weird because I never allied the Ottomans, mostly because I'm never really a Muslim country. But I've allied the Ottomans, Aragon and Castile. So it's a weird group of alliances right there.
We looted 335 ducats, 83 of which went directly into the treasury. We lost about 10,000 people. Their sacrifice will live on. Okay, this province has no unrest. Interesting. What is Sunni and culture Zenata, so that helps. It's accepted culture, which is why I kept Zenata as an accepted culture. The other thing is, uh, all right, these uh, just changed. Bureaucrats changed from 38 to 41 percent when I press this button. Uh, provincial corruption is decreasing now by a lot. Uh, nobility loyalty seems to be decreasing a lot too, though. It was 85 percent, I'm pretty sure before. So that actually led nobility corruption to increase a little bit, but. Uh, that is decreasing, 2% a year. It's back below 60%. I'm going to go ahead and expand the bureaucracy, which will give me corruption. But uh, I need to go ahead and get bureaucratic power up. We lost stability, so I'm going to go ahead and provide temporary tax relief to get back. And then I'll also donate to the uh, clergy to improve their loyalty as well. They're actually gaining loyalty, unless that was just from the thing that I gave them. Clergy, they're losing a lot of power. 0.26% a year. So they're going to hit zero eventually, and I'm not really... I have, That's not from a leverage. There's a leverage where you can... Where is it? Yeah, you can have them lose 0.5% a year for 25 clergy loyalty. That is not from that, so... With the clergy, I should be able to uh, severely weaken them in the next, what, 50 years even, really. Let's have this guy drill. Ship maintenance went up, unfortunately. Missionary maintenance, I've been converting the canaries. Should be able to ally a fourth country. Looks like it's just these uh, people down here. And Granada. Hey, Granada, would you uh, accept vassalization? Fez owns Granadan core provinces. Which are... This one province, Sabta. Alright, well, I'm not giving you that, so. They're allied with Mali. The problem is I don't have boats to get to over here. I suppose I could call in the Iberian powers to just do it for me. And then I fight Mali, and that would actually, uh... Probably not a horrible idea. Because I do have 10 favors with Aragon. I have 6 with Spain, or Castile. My problem with calling in uh, Castile is they would probably claim their provinces for themselves. I don't think Aragon would. It looks like, um, what's going on here? Okay, it looks like uh, Castile is now fighting Portugal because France attacked England in the Hundred Years' War. That's good. They can bicker among themselves. I 
They can destroy each other. All right, so Tlemcen itself has no mines. It's got 200 units of farmland, making, making it 25 ducats. It's got a decent amount of forests, not really developed. It's got 180 units of industrial property, making 62 ducats, 13 units of academic property, making 8 ducats, and 129 commercial... 129 units of commerce, currently negative. Can't actually scroll through these things, unfortunately, because I don't have the province cord. It has no academic or no higher education industry, something I should probably put in there. It has no luxury cloth, something that can also be put in there. It has 174,000 people migrating. 1,000 people are migrating. 80,000 residents. I think that's more residents than the capital. Our capital, Fez, is it? I think we might have 120,000 here. Yeah, we have 125,000. Numbers are hard. So it's not more. That is a decent size, though. Um, if we look at rural pop or urban pop in Europe... I think that might be among one of the highest. At least when I played Hungary, Hungary, they didn't really have many uh, urban pops. Let's go European continent. I'm not. I don't think we're included in that, but uh, yeah, we're not included in that. Which makes sense because we're in Africa. Granada has 117,000. Paris has 220,000. 115,000 there. Okay, so there's actually a lot more residents than I thought. That Tlemcen has more residents than Prague. Definitely don't think it's top 10, though. I think Fez is, Fez is probably top 10, probably 6 or 7, I would imagine. Tlemcen's probably in that 10 to 15 range. If it's top 10, it's probably 10, number 10. January 1st. Let's go ahead and recall that uh, diplomat. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my taxation. I have my admin power taxation at 20, but it's doing 27. So I'm going to reduce that down to 15. We're making 7 ducats. I don't need that much money because I have 800 ducats. Probably start building buildings now. I think I'll do pathing and fez. I'll see how much, see how much this costs. It's rank 2, so we want rank 3. 615 ducats. Alright, that is... I think that's too much right now. I think what I want to do is make sure that I can put money into... or invest most of my money right now into industries, so that I can start making more money from that. We make 50 ducats from property. We just invested 40 ducats. Actually about 50, 50 to 60 ducats.
So we should be making more money from that. I'm going to go ahead and look at what provinces I should uh, invest more money in and then uh, go from there. So I'm going to end this part here. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.